Industry 45 show. Shane Christopher Neal. This is brought to you by Crown Rust Control, 4790 Montrose Road in Niagara Falls. And uh, this is part two of a two-part uh, with Rival Town. And I mentioned to Devin and Bryce before, you're not Rival Sons or O-Town, but we've put it together and it's now Rival Town. So uh, we have Ethan and Mike and two new members of the band. So let's talk with you first, Ethan, and right. how you got involved with uh, Rival Town. So uh, Bryce and I worked together in the casino there. And uh, he thought I looked like a band guy because my pants were a bit too tight. So he's like, hey, you play any instruments? And I told him I play drums and guitar. And he's like, oh, we need a bass player. Like, Sure, I can do that too. <laughs> can't, be, can't be that hard. There's only Same four thing. strings, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out if it's under four chords, I can play it. Yeah, <laughs> good, good, good. And, and for yourself as the new lead singer? Um, I was in a band before and then uh, went south. And then once uh, word got out that I was looking for a new band, I heard from... Uh, Bryce sent me a message and I thought it was for another like for a side project he was doing so then once he told me it was for Rival Town I was really interested. So you knew him before? I did not. I've, oh, you didn't I've definitely heard of Rival Town before. Yeah. I knew the name and everything. I knew they were doing like well for themselves and then uh and then once he messaged me saying that it was for Rival Town they wanted me to audition. I was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm 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 down to audition for that for sure." Even though you're wearing a Quebec Nordiques hat, he was okay with it. He was okay with it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> we we'll make him flip it around in pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys are from Niagara, both of you? Or I'm from Hamilton. You're from Hamilton? Yeah, I'm from Niagara. And you're from Niagara. Yeah. Okay. So you still live in Hamilton or you live down here in, in Niagara now? No, I still live in Hamilton. Still live in Just a 40-minute drive. Not too yeah, bad. Yeah, not too bad. I yeah. get it. Uh, so talk about joining this band and kind of what it's done for you guys. I mean, the band kind of was on an upward motion and then kind of stopped, right? You guys joined the band. And so kind of what's what's that been like for you? Well, we're just we're just ready to just pick things up and just get back out there. Like, you've... Like I know Rival Town's been itching to get back out there for a while. I've once I got out of the scene, I was itching to get right back in right back in again. So we're just firing out some some tunes, recording uh, as well and as fast as we can, just trying to get back out there right away. Is it a challenge for you as a singer? Because uh, we were talking about this earlier that when you replace a singer, that's difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's the voice of the band. Yeah. And and how did you feel kind of coming into this? And were there pressures and stresses of I need to sound like the other singer? Well, or? it's it's definitely not the first time I've done that. Even the last band I was in, it was the same thing. I was I was uh, replacing another vocalist. So with uh, songs that have like already been released with that past singer that i have to re-record that's where the biggest challenge comes in in my opinion because you got two different versions of a song two different singers right which one, which right. one do you like more right that's where the biggest challenge comes and, in. I and think. for you it, playing bass obviously isn't an issue i bought the old bass player's whole rig <laughs> yeah are, are you a songwriter too or no yeah, I play a drums in another band as well. So drums are drum, drummers are not songwriters. Well, I'm a drummer. Drum There's no songwriting skill <laughs> we, whatsoever. We help, we help with structure, right? So. <laughs> yeah, play to this tempo. This is as fast <laughs> yeah. as I can go. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what are your influences um, as a like just as a listener? I'm more of a heavy guy. I, I like like what's that, heavy? Like you've heard Architects. It's one of my favorite bands. No, but I work in the construction Rob, business, I, so I yeah. work with architects. Ar architect the band, not the... Yeah, okay. Ar architects is amazing. Okay, give me another um, something else. Like, I'm 50. There's got to be something, something that... Something <laughs> that a 50 would listen to. I don't know. I'm all over the place for music. I'll listen to... Uh, I mean, I got a Pink Floyd, big Pink Floyd tattoo. Love Pink Floyd. I'll listen to everything from, like, from The Doors to Bring Me the Horizon, Beartooth. Yeah, Beartooth, that's a good one. Now, do you guys write together? Like as a band, um, like as of right now, because uh, once I joined, there was already uh, songs written out. They just gave them to me and said, "Hey, like uh, go nuts with the melodies, change lyrics, do whatever you want." It's, so uh, a lot so of it was already there. A lot waiting of it was for already you. Okay. yes, yeah. But I'm sure, like next time we go in the studio, we'll definitely be doing things together for sure. So you've recorded some music now, yep. And you're just kind of waiting on that to kind of come out, and um, I'm I'm in the middle of doing the vocals. We have right. one song. So you're holding up well. the process is what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're all they're all waiting on me. It's fast. It's crazy. Yeah, just trying to get it done as fast as possible. So so when I talked to Devin and Bryce, one of the things we talked about was that the other members had departed from the band because of the direction of the band, meaning playing more gigs, maybe traveling a little bit. Is that something you guys are certainly into, getting on the road and playing, whether it be the US, Canada, Absolutely. wherever? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I've been I've been wanting to play the states for a while. Yeah, and what are your goals in this 
personally, and I'll ask you first, like, is it just kind of go out, have a good time and see what becomes of it? Um, looking to make it I feel like big you, in, in the music you, business? I feel or? like you can't go with that mindset in, in music, right? Like, mm. you go in to enjoy yourself, have a Completely. good time, and if you can pay the bills at home, then sick. Yeah. But Absolutely. I'm 20, I don't have many bills, so let's have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and how about you? I agree. I agree. I mean, there's... You, you definitely don't join this industry for the money, that's for sure. Right. You're, you're, you're in it because you enjoy it. And if you're not enjoying tour or recording or anything, then, I mean, there's no point being in, being here. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely love all, all the things that come with being in a band. Bryce and I were talking the other day. It's like you look at, like, streams, like, a couple songs they have of, like, 200,000 streams on Spotify, right? It's like if that was back in the day, you got paid what they got paid right. before it was free. It's like you'd actually have to make some money, but now you make .004. Right, and, and that's why it's all about playing live, and that's why when yeah. people can't or don't want to go on the road and tour and travel, yeah. you know, how's the band going to make any money, right? Yeah, exactly. So, um, for moving forward in, in the songwriting process, because you're telling me that a lot of the the structure was already kind of there, how do you see Rival, Rival Town, I almost said Rival Sons, <laughs> <I know, laughs> or O Town, uh, uh, moving forward? Do you, do you see maybe your input a little bit more on some of the melodies, on yeah. some of the writing, and, and same for you as a bass player? Yeah, definitely. They're very good. Uh, right, right away when I joined, they were good with giving me creative freedom for the songs instantly, which is a nice... A nice change from the last band. I love I love the creative freedom I got right away. They trust me already with some of the things I've come up with. And yeah, uh, I think, yeah. It's definitely gotten a bit heavier, mm -hmm. I find. Yeah. It was like super pop punk before. Now it's pop punk with a little bit more. Definitely an edge now. Yeah. There's, a lot an more archi there's a lot more architect. A lot more yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not quite that heavy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how about some some personal stories just in in success stories that you have had in the music business and maybe give me an example of a frustration that you've had uh, through the, your career well the one frustrating thing about uh, being a musician especially like just like finding a band finding the right members is definitely the most frustrating thing everyone's got to be on the same page all the time some sometimes some people get lazy or they don't turn out to be as dedicated as you hope. So definitely one of the challenges is is finding the right people that are definitely all in it. Everyone's getting along. That's definitely a big challenge. Um, for success, uh, I was uh, 10, 11 years ago, went to my first Vans Warp Tour and knew right away, yeah, I, I have to play this, this festival. I went every single year and every year wanting to play. Finally had the chance to play last year so that was definitely i was definitely very very happy about a that. highlight for you yeah yeah definitely definitely one of the highlights of my career for sure and what about you ethan i've been more so on the tech side of things i've always mm -hmm. been doing like live audio mixing bands so to actually be in a band is almost a different experience for me so right. it's cool like i toured with bands teching before so is it being a drummer is yeah. that your first instrument drums, drums yeah. drum, so that'd be your first so what's it like when you're the bass player in this band and now is this the first time obviously you've played bass in a band yeah it's the first time not and so you're the, the other kit. you're the other part of the rhythm section right yeah. so what's that been like for you uh it moving you know like getting used to standing up and actually like playing so completely new to me because i'm used to sitting behind a kit you know you got your, you got your wall there do, do you ever go to devon I, I don't like that I, I think i think you need to change what you're doing I keep, honestly I keep, I keep pushing for click track i want to be on a click yeah and uh they, those guys aren't on click I don't know. do you guys play to a click no no, no. yeah not, not at which least is, not right now which is new to me like I, whenever i play drums i always play to a click with bands, right right yeah. so i push for that but uh I think they're slowly coming around to the idea. <laughs> and, and the live show, which I have not seen from Rival Town, but uh, I hear that it's quite interesting and exciting. So yeah. is that a big part of the attraction as well? And I guess we've heard the same that yeah. you've heard. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. so you, haven't, you haven't played any gigs with them yet? Not yet. We've, not got, yet. we've got stuff coming up, though, for sure. We've got a lot, a lot of dates coming up. but yeah, Starting in about May, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, all of you have been a pleasure. Too bad we couldn't have all four in one room. And That's maybe and, and maybe we could have had you play a song, but uh, our production crew here is a little slow on the draw, so we... <laughs> <laughs> so we've had to do it in two parts. Uh, the Industry 45 show brought to you by Crown Rust Control, 4790 Montrose Road uh, in Niagara Falls. And Ethan and Mike and also Devin and Bryce were on earlier. Thanks to Rival Town. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. us. All right, cheers.